Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Crackin' It's Day about to react to this Atozi vid. It's titled, Disrespectful IRL Streamer Arrested in Korea. This is the same dude who was arrested in Japan. The Johnny Somali guy. So you are in South Korea playing games now? They gonna toss you right on over to North Korea. <laughs> then, then what you gonna do? You gonna be looking stupid. Um, let, Let's hear what, what's happening with him. Let's watch. This is by far the worst style of And South media. Korea is cool as hell. I was just there in March. I have a travel vlog about it. Check it out if you're interested. Link down below on my second channel, DeChanel TV. Um, and they were pretty cool. I had I had a good time there. So it's wild that he went over there to terrorize them as well. I don't understand why he's still allowed to do this. His passport should be revoked. Creator, one would this think clearly a habit. Being arrested in Japan for making your content, then spending three months in jail over there, only to be released, immediately go to the opposite side of the world, Israel, continue the same style oh, of content, and instantly get arrested over there. Maybe, just maybe, this style of content is the problem. Yeah, and if we need any needs... further confirmation, the guy we're talking about today was just arrested in Korea for doing the exact same style of content. He needs to. So a couple weeks back, he announced that he was going to continue his antics in Korea. And if you don't remember, his streams consist of him downing entire bottles of liquor while running around harassing citizens and embarrassing himself in whatever country he's currently in. Like here, he's obviously extremely intoxicated and he chases this no. poor woman back into a store as she clearly doesn't want to be anywhere near him nah, or his camera. This sounds serious. Hello. What are you scared for? Relax, yo, what are you doing for like this? Why are you scared like this? Whoa! Why are you run back in the store? Oh, run to the floor. Why am I gonna crash out? Where? Why am I gonna crash out? And you followed her? I'm gonna yeah. crash out. This is your friend right here? What's she? <laughs> Why are you scared of me? Because you are an intoxicated stranger following wow. a random woman into a store with a live streaming camera rig, trying to shove it into her face just for your own content. It's pretty self-explanatory. Then someone else sees this and wants him to stop harassing her. So then he goes into this, don't touch me, don't touch me, I didn't do anything act. Don't touch me, don't touch me. What yeah, is this? get him out the stuff. What, what are you doing? Why are you shaking like that? Oh, what am I? Alive. don't touch me. I don't touch me. I'm not touching you, don't touch me. Are you okay? You Korean? Then why are you doing this? What's this shit about? I come to buy some makeup. Relax, I want to be white. <laughs> He's just desperate for someone to do something so he could get content. But since the guy essentially told him to just stop without making a big deal out of anything, he immediately continues where he left off and just goes straight back out to harassing people. And this is the exact same clip. This is all happening within one minute. I'm not cutting here. He just goes immediately back to doing this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this girl looks a mess, by the way. That is a hell of a road. This is so pathetic and embarrassing. Oh, she did it. Relax. 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 But she needs to relax. At least she was a good sport about it. But what is going on? How is this behavior acceptable? And what's surprising is he happily clips this behavior and puts it up on his own YouTube channel, titling the video, Picking Up Girls in Seoul. Filming myself harass women in Seoul would be a way better title because that's exactly what he's doing. Talk to them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is such a lovely Yo. city. He is trash. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> what's up? You don't speak English? When you approach girl, when you approach girls in Korean, what do I say? You say what's up, man? What's up? Even though they don't speak English, they're not even worth what we're talking to. Approach them. Yo, what's up, you guys? Sam. And he in the shopping area. Yeah, yeah. People are just trying to shop. Go oh, where the clubs and shit at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, girls. Yo. My friend's streaming. You want to be on it? What's up, you guys? Okay, okay, okay. They're, they're polite. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.
Mm. And while that's just embarrassing this to watch, his real moneymaker is being in public transportation, as his business model is basically based on him being an entity for random people to use to harass strangers. Because as we saw in the previous clips, since he does it, he essentially just gives the green light for other people to harass people through him. Which is why he makes so much more money when he's on public transportations, inside of restaurants, being confronted and interacting with the police. Because people donate to him to be able to play whatever message or song they want to via his Bluetooth speaker. And they are just actively rooting for his downfall so they will happily send the worst possible message and music to either harass the people he's around, incite violence against him, or to get him arrested. Because he's just a clown for them. He's a clown chef. That's all that's going on here. Mm -hmm. This is a live circus and you can donate to make the situation infinitely worse for him. And then I guess just see where the circus goes from there. And I mean, there is days worth of content of him just acting out in the worst way possible, but I don't want this to be a multi-hour video. So I'll concise it down to some of the interesting clips I saw. But as you know, he's hated in Japan for good reasons. So he decides then to be as offensive as possible to both Japan and Korea. So we did this. So I got Look a mess. That's I want to go to uh, the Japanese embassy because I saw that the Koreans were getting mad about that comfort woman statue. Shit. So I'm like, if I'm leaving soon, we might as well make these right, thank you, Mrs. Grubber. We might as well make these matter. So they got a, mm -hmm. I think the main comfort woman statue is in front of the Japanese embassy. So that is where I'm going right now. And I want to go to the Japanese embassy and I want to see those that know who the fuck I am. And I want to ask these kids if they're going to let me come back. You know, like I got a new passport, I got a new look. Maybe the Japanese might let me go back. Right, well, you got great goal to have in life. But first, he had to interrupt a publicly broadcasted concert. <laughs> Every time I start going through this guy's stuff, I realize how dystopian IRL streaming can really get, as it just demonstrates the worst case of main character syndrome that I've ever seen. Clearly, for him, nothing and nobody matters, as he long as he game. can have the chance to get some sort of funny clip for his stream. And he's doing all this while publicly day drinking. It's just overall fascinating that someone would humiliate themselves like this over and over again, while being a burden to society, all for some sweet internet attention. It's depressing, but as we know, he's still on a mission, so he gets the statue and does this. Japan hates this thing. Tell him why, tell him why. Japan hates it. I don't know if it's a respect to and he's instigating, bro. I stand with the Korean people. Bring it closer to you. Bring it closer. I stand with the Korean people. I love Korea. And everything that I did in Japan was for the Korean and the Chinese people. Let's go. <laughs> so if you don't know what statue he disrespected, here's the context. Mm -hmm. And for him to do this, for that kind of statue, it's despicable. There, there's really no words to describe it. It's just straight up pathetic. And he's really just testing his limits. He wants to see how much can he get away with. And he does this over and over again. And on top of that, he chooses the most tolerant countries to act like this in. Because obviously, he doesn't want to get consequences, but he still wants the clout and attention for testing the boundaries. But unfortunately for him, it seems like he's starting to find the limits here in Korea because just a few days ago, he decided to do this on the Metro in Seoul. Ring, we're going to jail today. Ring, we're going to jail, bro. We're going to jail. Sorry, 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 sorry. Remember me? Oh, come on, dude. It's oh depressing to watch, but what actually makes this funny to me is how little money he's actually doing this for. Like, imagine someone is willingly putting themselves in a situation where they can be arrested for someone simply paying them $5 for a text-to-speech donation or song. He's so pathetic. But a couple days later, he continues these antics Five. at a 7-Eleven. Hey, like a jackpot with a zesty anger. 
This guy will literally look to anything as an excuse to deflect for his own actions. And also, he will just happily lie to people's faces and live stream himself doing it. Like, what kind of sociopath do you have to be to do any of his content? It, it's insane. It's Where's bad for to watch. And immediately Got after it. this woman leaves, he just continues to make a scene. Because this is how he is, apparently. I want to see the consequences. I'm in my bed. He needs to go. It's wild to me that he didn't learn his lesson in Japan. For every day he streams like this, consequences will inevitably be worse for him. It's sad he happily treats elders like this to seem like some tough guy for his content. Like, especially when a couple days later, he was upset and confused as why he was handcuffed in the back of a cop car. Gee, who would know? But that clip that we just saw somehow gets worse before he runs up before the police shows up. What he doesn't realize also is it's illegal to record people in Korea without their consent. Normally, rules like this aren't enforced on, which is why over 99% of the time, people get away with stuff like this. But his issue is he's demonstrating you know, the behavior you want to make an example <laughs> but of I was and penalize. And you everyone. can actually get up to 10 years normal. in prison in extreme cases for this behavior in Korea. So a couple days later, he repeated this on a bus and actually got the police called on him. And the guy confronting him gets off the bus and says he's calling the police on him. So he runs off. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. He goes to hide in this restaurant, but since he's streaming, the police were able to find him pretty quickly. And here he just really goes on to show the world how unintelligent he is with this interaction with the police. Oh, police. Hi, how are you? Thanks for IG follow bro from Taiwanese guy. So people make fake call. You know? No, they 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 call us and they make some trouble. Oh, he told them he turned it off, but he's also like turning the camera towards them. Sometimes you see this this one, you know donation? People can send a music. I don't control. So they said it's too loud. No, 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 I'm very calm. People with people fucking never bullet. I don't know what this is. Just write it down. Am I into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody calls. Okay, but people try to waste their time. No, rest of us. I never touch nobody. I never hurt nobody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, happy love. Thank you, thank you so much. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, see how I win that? Easy. <laughs> easy. Well, easy, 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 that would be easy. After I look up your YouTube, it's over for y'all stupid ass. I'm gonna pay her some good money. She just saved my ass. I'm gonna give her a tip. He's live streaming. It's not like the police don't have access to this footage. The judge is just gonna love all these clips. I didn't do anything wrong. Watch, they call me again. Can I have a table takeaway? Uh,
He's clearly very paranoid as well. Because he's automatically assuming they're calling, they've already found the restaurant and they're calling the restaurant to report him when it's most likely just normal takeout orders. And then after that, he didn't even get that far until he was confronted by the police again, because I'm assuming they saw the stream. What is the problem? Please, hold on. What? What's the problem? Because this interaction was only 45 minutes after the previous one. I think taxi, taxi. No bus. I know you. 271 bus. No. 273. 272. Anyway. So don't allow. Okay, quiet. I didn't want to allow everyone. Yeah, so he's just lying to them. Nah, I wasn't on the bus. I took a taxi. Yeah, right, dude. Quiet. Yes. I'm so here he's carrying this fish. It becomes important later on. Terrorizing people with it? Oh, are they what showing? Evidence? Just the one chance. Okay? Oh, uh, of love. course. I need no talk. Come down, please. Okay. Because the police are giving him one more chance. You know, loud. Please, please. Somebody, you know, somebody, somebody call. They're being very they patient with him. Right, dude. Famous. You know? Arrest him! Okay, okay. I promise, I believe, I promise. Okay, so only oh, 20 minutes go, later, dude. he was stopped by the police again. <laughs> to get away from the way. There's this bag of fish. what I do? <laughs> yeah, time for a rest. Turn around. It's off. What'd I do? Off, off, off. Not off. Off. He says no. what I do? I'm waiting for taxi. You're watching what I do. Please don't. I know you're watching, but what I do? But what I do? I'm waiting for taxi. Please. Please don't. What did I do? Please. English, please. I don't speak English. Why are you not asking me what I do? I'm doing grocery. I go home. I'm waiting taxi. Please be quiet. Please be quiet. Be quiet. What I do? Anonymous. Okay, so it's the same duo that stopped him earlier. You can hold. I don't do nothing. Of course, this is exactly what they're donating as he's getting arrested. I don't know what you think. I understand you're police. Top <laughs> man. Okay, look, you tell me go taxi. I'm waiting. This is such a fascinating social experiment. Oh, very fascinating. They got him tap dancing for five fucking dollars, and now your dumb ass is getting arrested. Yeah. Bro, what is going on, child? I tell you all, wait, taxi. Come that way. I don't care. What I do? You tell me. Charles to Madeline, Saint to Taibo, Dalaji. Fixed up to the main channel. HIV, Angsamigo. Watch. I don't throw nothing. This, uh, this is evidence. 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 Who is this guy? This one. I want to be alone. My face, my face. Oh boy, God. What, what I do? White, white savior. Get your ass over here. You Reddit Twitter user. I'm Reddit. Right. Some Redditor came. Some Redditor came. Some Reddit Twitter user. Come to me, that. Come to me. Hang day. But unfortunately for him, this doesn't go his way. Because he thinks he gets this taxi here. And now I'm going off of information by Cancel Johnny's here on Twitter. They told me that apparently he got into this taxi. The stream cuts out because here we see they don't let the taxi driver drive. And then the stream ends up cutting a little bit later. But when his live stream came back on, he was in the back of a police car, handcuffed, complaining about being arrested. We got me cut to a fucking wall, bro. This is fucking crazy. This is fucking crazy, bro. This is fucking crazy, bro. This is fucking crazy, bro. I'm gonna cut a shot with a bunch of shots. I'm gonna cut a bunch of shots. 
commentary. So we're still waiting for more information about exactly why or how he was arrested, but Johnny has since been released and he had this to say about being arrested. Johnny Somali is free. The police let him go because they were not well informed. The police does not know about him drinking alcohol on the bus and vandalizing the 7-Eleven. People must notify the police of all the illegal activities Johnny has done while he's in Korea. Hank translated everything in the police station. The police were like, bro, they were like, this is the dumbest ever. We have to do the paperwork. It's nothing. Some guy's claiming, allegedly, you got fist juice on him. There's no proof. There's no evidence. There's no nothing. So just go. And honestly, you know, the police, the detective just called me right now. He said, bro, I see you're on the news about kissing the statue. If any reporter... So it cut out there, but he hasn't gone live since his arrest as of recording this video. So if it's really not a big deal, that doesn't really make sense. I think it would be smart of him to leave the country right now, but we've been covering this guy for over a year now and he's never done anything smart. So there will likely be more to come from the saga. So feel free to subscribe. This is so sad. I don't know why he thinks he's going to keep getting away with this. At some point, his luck is going to run out and he's going to have to serve some hard time. This sounds like terrorism to me. You are literally jumping from country to country to terrorize the citizens. Like, I don't understand why he hasn't faced serious legal consequences at this point. Apparently, the three months that he served in Japan wasn't enough. He needs to get like some years because he, he's going to keep doing this. This is so wild that this is just occurring. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!